So, little brother, what are you going to do with Barrett Brown? I'm going to beat him. <laughs> little brother, listen to me. Listen to me. I go away for a while, I come back, and you're on some kind of some kind of man chain. You're playing fetch in the ring, and I ask you what you're going to do, and you say, beat him? You want me to lose? No, I don't want you to lose. You're a conus. You're not a dog. You're a wolf. And wolves, we don't beat each other down. We tear each other apart. Now go out there and you make me proud. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Back on TCW Wrestling and Brian, the situation with Cerebus and with Roosevelt continues to become more interesting. The question Certainly. has to be out there, Ugh. what is the expectation? What does Cerebus want from Roosevelt? Cerebus just wants Roosevelt to be his best and do the damage and be a part of the wolf den that he is a part of and should have always been a part of. Let's go to the ring and Tom Simon. From the North Pound, our company to the ring by the manager for the ages, Boy Bradford. Weighing 226 pounds. This oh. is Roosevelt. Look at that. Look at that. The oh, dog. Wow. Roosevelt took the chain off himself. Looks like Roosevelt has been listening to the orders of his older brother. He seems ready. Barrett Brown, though, he's ready too. This guy's quick. So fast. Not the biggest guy, not the biggest dog in the fight. Oh, that's weird to say that when you actually have a man who believes he's some type of dog. But we won't go there. Oh, wow. Is it a dog or is it more of a pack of wolves? It seems that Cerebus uh, is treated differently. He has a different mindset than Roosevelt. Uh, he's, you know, from where he's been, he comes in and he sees Roosevelt and he feels like Roosevelt just... <laughs> It's a little bit too domesticated for his own good sometimes, maybe. I don't know. Like he's gone soft. Yeah, that's a good that's a good way to possibly put it right there, Brandon Baxter. Cerebus, one of the one of the most uh, I guess concerning guys we've had here in TCW in a long time. <laughs> concerning it. He's just vicious. He's like a buzz. Oh! Oh! Cerebus wants Roosevelt to be like that, to be vicious. <laughs> he's dangerous. To take no prisoners. Here comes Boy Bradford. This <laughs> I love Boy Bradford. He's one of my favorite people in the entire world. All of his weight across the throw to Barrett Brown. And a scratch to the back. Gotta wonder what Cerebus is thinking now. You know he's gotta be watching on. We also have to wonder what's gonna happen, Brian, as we go throughout this telecast when Boyd Bradford's other guy, Titan, has to face off with Lars and what's going to happen with Lily. Oh. That's our TV main event. Look at the tree of woe or maybe even the pee of woe. <laughs> oh, tell me. He's not. He did seconds ago and then damage with the drop kick down. Is this the Roosevelt that Cerebus wants to see? Will he win his brother's approval? Can you win Cerebus' approval? I don't know. That's a good question to ponder, Brandon Baxter. He's so vicious. Look, he's trying to. That's that's. Oh, not, I think that. that's the viciousness he's looking for right there. Yeah, Cerebus has to be happy with that. Now he's biting the forehead of this young kid from Texas. His family, right over there. You can see him right there, Brian. Worried about their son. That's they them? make the long trip. That's them, bro. Really? Whoa. <laughs> What's wow. wrong with you? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Texas people. Never mind. Roosevelt stepping on the head of Barrett Brown. This yeah, is a great opportunity, though, for Barrett Brown to be in TCW at this early stage in his career, a formative stage against a guy like Roosevelt. He's so young. He's up a weight advantage every time he's out there in the ring. Look at that, though. But he knows wow. he has to perfect things like that. Russian leg sweep. Down goes Roosevelt. Barrett Brown pulls him over. Hooks the leg. Would you consider that an upset if he won? I would have to say so if Barrett Brown somehow caused Roosevelt to slip on a banana pill or a bone or any kind of thing like that or, or you know, step into a tra an animal trap. He certainly would get an upset victory in my opinion. Oh, quick elbow. The point of the elbow right across the face and down with a shoulder tackle yeah. goes Barrett Brown. Boyd likes what he sees right now. He's he exposed that knee. Ooh. Oh, knee left. Good grief. Oh, and again. 
Drops him right across the knee. Look at the look of that face. Look at the look of that face. I would rather not. Yeah, Ooh. that's the viciousness. I want to see more of it. I think we are seeing somewhat of a different Roosevelt here today. He does seem to have stepped up a little bit. He got the message from his older brother, bottom line. There's a lot of messages going around here in TCW. Messages from Sigmund, messages from the boss himself, Mr. 5.5, Matt Riviera, and even messages from Cerebus to his younger brother. An abusive family relationship is what that appears to be. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more of this match after this on TCW Wrestling. Back on TCW Wrestling, oh. Roosevelt, Barrett Brown. This match is going on. Thank you for tuning back in. And what about Cerebus? He wants Roosevelt to prove something in this match. That was what he was told. Get out there and make me proud. Look at that swinging neck breaker right there by Roosevelt. And during the commercial break, he got even more vicious and... And Brown may have been lucky right there that his right arm was close enough to the bottom rope that he could grab it without having to kick out and exert that energy. Barrett Brown, a young man from Texas, uh, who was just assaulted by this wannabe mobster, Boyd Bradford. <laughs> what a way to wannabe mobster. Give me a break. Is he stuck in the 20s? It sure seems that this guy is, is not really relevant in the year 2013. He's a fashion plate. You know that. Just classy all the way around. You can learn something from him. Headbutt to the heart. A very brown. Roosevelt is vicious. A pack of wolves is what Cerebus wants them to be like. They are brothers. Yeah. Brothers who have been apart for a long time. We know when Roosevelt figured out Cerebus was back, when he was out, it was obviously fear in the heart of Roosevelt. Let's change the whole complexion of the Bradford family in recent weeks. Lots going on in that family. My favorite family in professional wrestling. As Roosevelt tries to wear down Barrett Brown now. Equally as punishing to make a man suck. You're trying to suck that wind in there, trying to catch that oxygen, trying to catch your breath and you can't do it. You yeah. know what that feels like. Barrett Brown needs to get out of this quick because not only does he have him hooked, he's also making him carry his own weight. And Barrett Brown being a smaller guy doesn't necessarily need to be carrying the weight of Roosevelt as well. No, that's right. That's a very valid point, Brandon Baxter. That will knock his lights out very, very quickly if it continues. But look at the kid just won't give up. Rake of the eyes right there, the face in the eyes. Those long nails of Roosevelt right in the face of Barrett Brown. You know, this sibling situation, maybe sibling rivalry, maybe some animosity. It always seems like the younger brother tries to seek the approval of the older brother. Kind of, it's just, it's passed down that way. Does oh, Roosevelt no. want the approval of Sarah? He certainly does. He's certainly better. Oh, if he knows what's good for him. And I can't think that Cerebus is anything but pleased with what he's seeing right now. But he's not going for a cover. He is here to just punish yes. this young man. Yes, punish that man. He's clawing at the face. <laughs> There's Boyd Bradford. Nasty claws, nasty claws, too. I just wonder if Boyd Bradford is stirring this pot a little bit. Is he trying to make this situation worse than it really is? Does he like the idea of the infighting? Does he feel it makes his guys better when they're bickering? I think you're asking a bunch of questions there. The, the, you're, you're the one stirring the pot right now, Brandon Baxter. Bear Everything Brown. is fine in the family. It's going to be all right. Duck underneath. Here comes Bear Brown. Oh. Ahead of steam. That's what he needed. That's the break he needed. One, two, oh, not quite. Wow. Not quite. What would Cerebus say if he saw his brother defeated today on TCW? He, uh, he would go ballistic. He would certainly be an unhappy camper if that happened to Roosevelt. And Barrett Brown is just trying. Now, Barrett Brown is trying to do the same sort of thing, cut that oxygen off. Doesn't matter how vicious you are, you can't breathe, you can't do it. That's like being choked out. It you is. can't help it. He's going back to it, though. He's a fighter. He's not going to stay down. He never knew when to quit, and he might find out he should have quit a long time ago if Roosevelt has anything to do with it. Bradford family dominant here in TCW Wrestling. And still to come, another member of the Bradford family in action, the seven foot two Titan taking on Lars. Finally going to put that situation to rest, possibly. Titan is in love with Lars's girlfriend, Lily. How will that play into our main event? 
it should be interesting to see what Lily does because I believe that Titan feels that Lily might have some interest. Um, I don't know, I'm a little debating there. I, I certainly, I would hope she would dump a guy like Lars and choose a real winner like the seven foot two monster Titan. I mean, come on, really, Lars? Roosevelt, oh! Barrett Brown went head first into that middle turnbuckle. Smart move by Roosevelt to cut him off. Roosevelt adjusting his own neck there seconds ago. I don't recommend that. <laughs> Barrett Brown is, you know one thing about this kid, he has given a fight oh. to Roosevelt. Roosevelt was given a mission, given a task to go out and punish him. He's done so, but Brown has not gone down without a fight. Look at that. Do you realize how difficult it would be for Barrett Brown to get out of this hole? The weight of Roosevelt on the back of Barrett Brown, pulling back on the head and the neck, making him carry his weight. This is a very effective move. Hurt so many parts of your body, I'm sure. Brown back up to a vertical base. Driving some elbows in now, trying to break the hold. It looks like he's going to do so. He does. Oh! Oh, wow. A leg trip and a clothesline at the same time has Barrett Brown down. The viciousness that Cerebus wanted, he is getting today from Roosevelt. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh! Oh, 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 oh nasty. There's a kidney shot, he's maybe even... a liver shot. Hello, Cerebus. He's waving to his brother. What a freak. Look what. Look. Why don't you go up there and tell him that to his face? Roosevelt going out. Yeah, I, 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 I thought I, I don't see you running. <laughs> My days of being up in the ring are over, <laughs> at least for now. <laughs> you Russell there? Cerebus, we can arrange that. No, Matt, no, we're Matt, not. Matt, no, Matt, we're not. Mr. Five One Five. Okay. No, just please. Checking. Just checking. Looking out for you, man. You're trying to get me out of here. You want to be <laughs> here by yourself, don't you? Can that happen? I'm, you want Roosevelt to do all the talking? On... <laughs> Never. Roosevelt's going to shoot Barrett Brown across. He smashes him in the corner. At some point, you have to wonder if Boyd Bradford's going to say, okay, that's enough. What point is enough? Oh. That's oh, wow. gone too long. Here comes Barrett Brown. The ultimate underdog, Barrett Brown, coming back on Roosevelt. I would love to see this young man get this win on this stage on international television. It oh. would certainly be early in the year. It would certainly be upset of the year for sure if Barrett Brown did it. Look at this. He's trying to collect himself. Needs to needs to jump on him right here if he's going to do it. Needs to quit worrying about these people. It looks like he's ready to fly. This young man is known for his high flying activities, and he is moving to the top rope. Boy, Bradford, oh, the ropes are loose. The ropes were loose. What happened? <laughs> it's always that, something. That's such a shame, those ropes being loose like that. Hopefully our ring crew can get down there after the conclusion of this match and work on that. Roosevelt has Barrett Brown on the top. Now he's going to bite him. Hungry. He didn't eat earlier. What, Boyd won't feed the members of his Bradford family? Motivation to win. Well, here goes Barrett Brown, though. Back to the top. This is what he was going to do. Wow. This is it. Upset victory. What? Oh my gosh. Are you me? I'm here, telling you. Here is your winner, Barrett Brown. He waited too long, Brian. He did. We're he was shoved wait, on, wait trying to impress his brother. And here's Cerebus. Cerebus has entered the ring. This is Roosevelt's brother. Yeah. He's approaching Barrett Brown. Barrett, look how, look at the fear of Barrett saying he wants to fight. Oh, wow! Cerebus wow. has, has just punched his brother. He has taken it out. What are you doing? This On pack, Roosevelt. this pack is supposed to hang together. It's a pack of wolves. Yeah, he's a, but sometimes what is he you doing? gotta teach your brother a lesson. Sometimes you gotta teach him a lesson and get him right. Physically? Yeah, oh. you gotta euthanize him. <laughs> this dog is down. He is down. He's teaching him a lesson. Oh, tough Cerebus. Love, Brandon back He's going to continue love. the attack on the outside. He's. No, wait a minute. Is he, He's just carrying away. Is he showing some remorse? 